the Parasaurolophus, one of the most unique herbivores to have ever evolved. Seen across films, games, and toy lines, its most famous introduction to many people's lives will be through the iconic scene from The Lost World where it's captured by mercenaries. You can hear the scream as it's being choked and pulled to the ground. The sound is highly unique and one of the most recognizable sound effects in the entire franchise. But what did the Parasaurolophus really sound like? This hadrosaurid dinosaur was both a quadrupedal and bipedal herbivore that lived in North America in the late Cretaceous period, approximately 76 to 73 million years ago. This animal was discovered in 1922 by William A. Parks, who uncovered the skull of the creature, which in turn gave the species its name, Parasaurolophus, which is Greek for crested lizard probably known best for the blunt crest that protrudes from the back of its skull. It's puzzled scientists for decades. What was its function? Some have speculated it to be purely aesthetic, for males to present maturity to females. Others have speculated it was for temperature regulation, but studies suggest this is actually what was used for long-ranged vocalization, and the sounds that scientists have reproduced is incredibly eerie. But before I demonstrate it to you, let's go over the science behind it. As we know, dinosaurs couldn't roar due to the lack of vocal cords. So how did they communicate? What did they sound like? Well, in 1995, an incredibly well-preserved Parasaurolophus skull was found, and two years later, scientists and paleontologists in New Mexico studied the findings and made a 3D map of the skull by running a CT scan directly into a computer. A computer algorithm then simulated the sound it would have made when air passed through the passageways in the crest. This is the sound that they came up with, something that hasn't been heard in the flesh for 70 million years. This low frequency sound would have traveled for miles and would have helped dinosaurs stay grouped together in open areas. Now take a moment to just imagine what it would have been like to have heard these magnificently unique creatures, each with their own unique crests, harmonizing their symphonies. It's also suggested that younger hadrosaurs would have also produced higher frequency sounds due to the smaller volume of crest, and that sound may have differed depending on gender. Either way, these findings are truly amazing and I hope that you feel a little bit closer to imagining what it would have been like to have these creatures around with us today. If you want more of these videos, be sure to subscribe to Dangerville and become a resident today. And remember to let us know what dinosaurs you want to see next in the comments section down below. This has been Alistair. Hey, hello there. Alistair here. And I'm here to tell you about uh, a good cause. The Crystal Palace in London is building a bridge between you and an island full of dinosaurs, which is great. The Crystal Palace in London is home to one of the, if not the first, 
dinosaur recreations in history of the Iguanodon. It's been there since the 1850s. What I'm telling you about is a what I think is a really great cause. They're wanting donations so they can build a bridge between the visitors and the island itself, and you can interact with the dinosaurs, Jurassic World style. But I think it would be really cool. They need another £30,000. If everyone, if you donated £1, then that would be lovely. It means they would reach their goal, and that means we could all interact with the, some of the first dinosaurs ever discovered, which is pretty cool. I think it's a really good cause. I think it's good for science, kids that want to learn more about these beautiful creatures. It'd be really cool to learn about history and science and all that good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to put the link in the description so you can go donate and just even a pound. Just donate a pound, please. Don't get that second scoop of ice cream. Help, help the dinosaurs, okay? Save the dinosaurs. I've been Alistair from Dangerville and thank you for listening to me ramble. Uh, again, follow the link in the description and we'll see you in the next one.